I love a complex appetizer that must be served hot just as much as the next person. But when I'm going big elsewhere in the meal, I like to keep my appetizers simple. Bonus points if they can be made ahead or with pantry staples or long-lasting refrigerated items that I can buy and keep on hand for when I need to pull an appetizer out of my back pocket. One dip I love to make is whipped feta. It's totally delicious, dead simple to make, and you can serve it with all kinds of things. Crackers, crudite, pita, you could even make crostini if you're feeling fancy. It's also delicious as a sandwich spread, so you can make some and use it all week. Today I'm going to show you how to make a roasted red pepper version. It's got some seriously cozy vibes, it's a vibrant orange color, it's perfect for fall. We're going to put a quarter teaspoon of fresh garlic into one and a half teaspoons of red wine vinegar. Marinating the garlic in red wine vinegar while we do some other prep allows the vinegar some time to soften the garlic's edge a bit and mellow it out, which preserves its flavor but takes away some of that bite. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of red wine vinegar. I'm going to put this aside to mellow out for a little bit. Right here I have my eight ounces of feta cheese. Now it's good to seek out a cow's milk feta cheese. You can have sheep's milk feta cheese, you can even have goat's milk feta cheese, but cow's milk feta cheeses are a little firmer and that gives this dip a nice scoopable consistency. One thing we always do too with this is to rinse it off. That just removes a little bit of the salt that, from the brine that the feta cheese was sitting in. It takes down the salt a bit because the cheese is already very salty. So I'm gonna rinse this off. We're going to rinse that off a little bit. Now we can just drain that off. Then we're going to break the feta up into little pieces to help the whole thing process a little more evenly. I just like to use my hands. All right, a little rinsey poo. Okay, so I'm going to add the feta to the food processor. Just want to give a shout out to my food processor. As you can tell, this thing has been around the block. My aunt Jenny gave me this 10 years ago and she's a serious cook and that was after 10 years of it working in her kitchen and this thing is still just crushing it, literally and figuratively. I love this thing. I'm gonna cry when it actually finally dies but um, it's the old version of our winning food processor. Very old, 20 years, going strong, absolutely killing it. Now I'm also adding two tablespoons of milk. I am adding a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika or regular paprika, which is what I had on hand, and a pinch of cayenne. And then the vinegar mixture from earlier with the garlic and roasted red peppers. Now, I'm gonna process for 15 seconds. And at this stage, we are looking for it to get to be the consistency roughly of like a ricotta. So a little chunky still. Okay. Now I am going to add two tablespoons of oil. This will add a nice richness to go along with that smoky sweet flavor from the peppers, the salty tangy feta just adds another dimension. So at this point, I'm gonna put the lid back on and process for about one and a half to two minutes. Um, this is gonna whip it into a really nice, smooth, scoopable consistency. At this stage, when you're done with it, you want it to look like Greek yogurt, with, but you know, a few small lumps still. Um, all right, so here we go. Look at that, beautiful creamy and delicious in there. I'm gonna scrape this out. I'm gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna try some right now. Mmm, it's so creamy. A little bit of sweet and roasty flavor from the peppers, tangy, salty feta, and it's so dead simple to make. All right, I hope you enjoyed the dip. Please leave us a comment, especially if you make it and go rogue with some cool flavor mixin'. I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a happy and safe holiday season.